Hey, what's going on guys? It's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're doing the review of the Under Armour Rock Deltas. The Rock Deltas are the long-awaited signature shoe for Dwayne The Rock Johnson. I was a huge fan of The Rock growing up as a kid and I could not wait to get my hands on these shoes. The Rock Deltas are actually just a special edition of a running shoe that Under Armour had already had in production called the Delta Highlights. Obviously the Rock Deltas have a few cues that make them stand out from the normal Delta Highlights. Namely, the Brahma Bull on the back of the shoe. Also, the shoe has a reflective pattern embedded into the upper. You get the Rock's signature black and yellow colorway throughout the whole shoe, and it also does come with a spare set of laces. Now, it's really disappointing to hear that the Rock's training shoes were based off of a running shoe. As we know, running shoes are not the greatest training shoes. The Rock Deltas actually have a 10 millimeter drop, which is a dead giveaway to a running shoe. They also have a two-part charged cushioning system. The outsole has flex grooves at the toe area and it's got more sturdy rubber pods in high wear areas. The insole is relatively thin but provides pretty good comfort. The upper is actually made of a knit material that is not like fly knit, it's not like prime knit or ultra knit. There's no elasticity to the upper on the Rock Deltas. And the ankle collar doesn't actually have a ton of structure to it. It's actually really flexible. And if you're looking for something with a little bit more ankle support, then the Rock Deltas might not be the best option because this is more of an aesthetic thing than a functional thing. So when it comes down to performance of the Rock Deltas, I have to take a stance that's a little bit outside of the box. These shoes are not CrossFit shoes. They're not designed with CrossFit in mind. The Rock does not do CrossFit. And the people that this shoe are marketed towards are not going to be doing functional fitness. They're going to be your normal gym person looking for a comfortable pair of shoes to wear to get their workout in. I was able to do some of my lighter Olympic lifts in the Rock Deltas, though they were not confidence inspiring lifts. I was still able to hit them and not blame the shoes for any misses that I might have had. The charged cushioning system in the Rock Deltas is a little much for me and it does not make the Rock Deltas a stable platform for any kind of Olympic lifts or even squats. Landings in Olympic lifts were a little bit sketchy and power delivery is not the greatest with the Rock Deltas. Squatting in the Rock Deltas was okay, but it takes a little bit to get your feet set, and I wouldn't recommend these shoes to hit any kind of PRs. The best use for the Rock Deltas is definitely going to be running. These are very comfortable running shoes. The charge cushioning system keeps your feet comfortable while still providing pretty good energy return. The upper and outsole flex pretty well, so you don't really have to worry about any issues if you have plantar fasciitis. When it came to heavier lifts, I stayed away from the Rock Deltas because they're just not the best lifting shoes. But what make them not very good lifting shoes make them actually pretty good Metcon shoes. Burpees, box jumps, any kind of plyometric movement are really good to do in the Rock Deltas. Grip is also excellent on rubber flooring and asphalt. And while I stayed away from the Rock Deltas for the heavier lifts, most of the weights that you're going to find in the wad are definitely doable in the Rock Deltas. For a running shoe, they're a lot more stable than you'd expect. When it comes to sizing your Rock Deltas, I find that they run true to size, so just go ahead and size them as you would your normal running or training shoes. The Rock Delta Deltas retail for $140, which is only $20 more than the standard Delta Highlight. So if you really like The Rock's branding or you're just a fan of The Rock, then I definitely recommend that you go ahead and just go with The Rock Deltas. But if you don't care and you're just looking for a good running shoe, then you can actually get the Delta Highlights for as low as $90 in Under Armour's outlet page. For a performance shoe, the Rock Deltas are definitely not going to be replacing my Nano 6s or my Metcon 3s, but I definitely think they are a cool shoe, and I find myself wanting to wear them a lot more than I had initially expected. I'm definitely going to keep these around for running and wads that have lighter weight or body weight movements. Once again, I'm a huge fan of the Rock, and I wish his shoes were a little bit more performance based, but at the same time, I still like them. If you're a fan of the Rock, then I definitely do recommend them, or if you're in the market for a pretty good pair of running shoes. If you guys have any questions about the Rock, Deltas, feel free to leave them in the comments section. As always, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.